So if there's anything that I've learned in my decades in education, it's that it's all about relationships. You know, we need to develop the kinds of skills that enable us to build positive relationships with our colleagues, with our students, with their parents, with our bosses. Because when we build those relationships, we thrive at work. And when we thrive, it's a joy to be there. But when those positive relationships are challenged and challenging, it makes it difficult to even get up in the morning and get to work and walk through those doors. Yeah, I've had days like that. When I was a first year teacher, my classroom neighbor needed to save me from myself. I was stuck on that hamster wheel where you work and you work and you work, but you don't do any play. And that certainly wasn't doing me any favors. Thankfully, Michelle, who's now a longtime friend, recognized that I was isolating myself and she reached out to me with kindness and intention to help me better my own wellness. 20 years later, I get a text from her, it still brightens my day. That's beautiful. I, I think too, it's so important to treat ourselves as we would a struggling co-worker, especially when we're struggling, and to treat ourselves with the kindness and the compassion and the acceptance that we would offer somebody else. So for example, if I'm in the drama triangle and I'm being a persecutor or a victim, I think to gently acknowledge that, to honestly acknowledge that, and then take steps to move forward in a different way, in a more respectful way, in a more kind way, it's so important. So true what all of you are sharing. Like when you think about it, if we work full time, we might spend most of our waking hours with our colleagues, not even our family and friends, right? So. Under those circumstances, we're bound to have opportunities for deep, meaningful connection and times of tension and even conflict. Right. So for our readers, our hopes for this chapter is to just provide insight into our human daily interactions because we're all human. Right? And strategies for increasing deep, meaningful connections and or even repairing, tools for repairing if we have a rupture in a relationship. And the best part, I think, about our chapter is that anything that we're sharing can be applied to the school community with our peers, but also in our relationships and our personal lives. Absolutely. For sure. Yes, definitely.